All right, we're going to talk about how to, or the customer type list, so how to set up a customer type and then why to set up a customer type. So how to, right, come into customers here. If you edit any customer or if you create a customer from scratch, right, uh, under the additional information tab, you have your customer type here. So I can add new from here. The other way that we can get there is up here under lists and then under customer and vendor profile list we have our customer type list. Okay, So this is just a list. So if I want to create a new one I can come down here and say new. So customer types, we can have customer types be sub item or subtypes of, right? So you can have a header type and then subtypes, just like you can have a header class and subclasses or a customer and sub jobs. But I don't usually see my customers use that very often. So um, if we are thinking that we need to use that, maybe it's time for us to do a file review and see how you're using your fields and make sure you're using them effectively. Customer type is a really powerful field in QuickBooks. So if we find, right, it's, it's one of the last fields we look into because it's not a field that we can add to, let's say, a bill, right? It's going to be mainly on the sales side um, that it affects because you set up the customer type, you assign a customer, a customer type, right? And that's it. We don't, it's not on a transaction anywhere or anything like that, but it can affect transactions meaning when we run reports on it, we can filter by customer type. So good examples of things that I've seen for customer types in the past, right? I have seen people use this for um, like, where did you hear about us, right? I heard about you from Google. I heard about you from a Yahoo ad. I heard about you from a referral partner, uh, whatever it is, so that we can, again, run sales reports by customer type. Where did you hear about us? Um, the other way I've seen people seg segment this down is if they're using their classes for something else, like departments, um, then maybe they use this for what kind of customer are you? Are you a retail customer? Are you a nonprofit customer? Are you a government customer? Are you a, you know, any anything like that? So are you a wholesale customer? Um, so I have seen customers use it in that method. I've also seen customers use it in territory, right? So this is under uh, one territory versus another. We can have multiple sales reps under that same territory, but we want to run reports based on sales by territory. So there's a lot of different ways that I've seen people use this field effectively. So when we're filling in the customer type, it's just a free type field again. So let's say we're going to name one retail. Okay. Why this is so important, well, now that I have it as retail um, set up, I, when I go in to edit my customer, right, under additional information, I can now choose the type retail, okay? So why this is so important is, again, anything that we're sticking into QuickBooks, right, is so that we can pull data out of QuickBooks. So it's a field that we can filter reports on, we can build reports on. So I can come in and do my profit and loss as an example. I don't have the show columns um, by in here, right? Customer type isn't here, but I'll show you where you can do a different report to show P&L by customer type. But I can come into a P&L and I can filter by customer type and say only retail, right? So I can filter by that. Um, the other thing that we can do is I can come into my reports and run a custom transaction summary report as an example. Okay, now in this one, I can say let's do it for all time, just because the, in these sample files, sometimes it's hard to hunt down data for all time. And when I say display columns by, I have the ability to choose customer type on this report. So I can say do columns by customer type, rows is going to be based on the income statement and I can say okay and now I have my P&L right by customer type. Now if we did not start using customer types in the beginning and we do want to use them now we have the ability to do a couple things right to mass fill it in our team can help you mass fill it in if you want to you also can come into the paste from Excel up here in the customer center you want to be really careful when you're using this because if you make changes, it it saves it. No backup, no undo. There's nothing like that. But I can come in here. I can click on customize columns. 
and I can add the customer type to my columns here. Maybe move it up towards the top here. Uh, move it down there. Okay. Now I have customer type in here, and it also shows me right all of the customers that don't have a type filled in. So I can sort by this, and the easiest way is to just fill it in like it is Excel, right? So this is referral. This is from advertisement. This is retail, right? Just fill it in like Excel. Hit save changes and then it'll update the customer's card for you. Okay, but this is one of those fields that's very underutilized in QuickBooks and it's a really powerful field so I do suggest if you need help figuring out ways to use it give us a call but I do suggest using it so that you can get more reporting out of your file.